Welcome back to Two Cents. I'm John Malasa. And I'm Kyla Jenny. And today we're covering the fourth installment in our series on writing a female character. This time we cover the painting. It looks like a woman, is colored like a woman, hell it might even be attractive. But it finds itself two-dimensional and posted on a wall watching the action. The painting is a character that finds itself in most anime. Are the boys fighting, then their main girl is on the sidelines watching? They're there to fill the show with all the oohs and ahs necessary to cue the audience into how great and attractive the protagonist is. This is the character that feminists rail against, and I agree with them. Why does Sleeping Beauty have to wait to be rescued? Why does Sakura have to stand on the sidelines? Why can't the girls mix it up a little? The painting also represents all the off-screen females. Take Disney. Moms are all dead or non-present. Pocahontas. Dead. Bambi. Dead. Belle. Dead. Ariel. Dead. Cinderella. Dead. Jasmine. Dead. Snow White. Dead. Anna and Elsa. Dead. Tarzan. Dead. Hero. Dead. Nemo. Dead. And in the families that are alive in Disney films, the connection is always stronger with the main character's father than their mother. Mulan goes to war for her father, Simba bonds with his father, and Sarabi only has one scene with him. Hercules never interacted with his mother, and she only has a few lines in the whole film. And whatever happened to Max's mom in the Goofy movie? Even when the father dies and the mothers live, like in The Princess and the Frog, Tiana is obsessed with living out her father's dream and shares only one short song with her mother. So wow, women are far in the background, especially moms. But does Disney have a mom that has a meaningful relationship with their kid? Enter Disney's overlooked gym, Treasure Planet. Mrs. Hawkins, the caretaker of an inn and the mother of the galaxy's biggest rapscallion, Jim, whose father left he and his mother to buy a pack of cigarettes and hasn't been back in a decade, is a diamond in the rough who just needs a figure to guide him in life. His mother struggles to provide for him with monetary and emotional support while trying to fill the role of the missing father in his life. She's complex and has real struggles, but is also a mom in a traditionally feminine role. In fact, there are a number of great moms. Mrs. Parr from The Incredibles, Eleanor from Brave, and that tree thing from Pocahontas. You mean Grandmother Willow. Right. A female character doesn't always have to be the one to charge into battle, but they can do more than stand on the sidelines. Hell, they could at least be alive. However, over and over, we're presented with the bland, simple painting that waits for a noble prince to find and sexually assault his unconscious bride. Well, that's our two cents. I'm John Malasa. And I'm Kyla Jennings. Please continue the conversation below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe.